He joins us on this Friday for a bit of trending news and a little snack afterwards. We'll get to that <laughs> in a minute. But Ginny, what do you have in trending today? Well, I know that us kids, I guess maybe 90s kids, all kids felt this a little bit. There were some pictures online that were pretty sad. Of, his name is Jeffrey. He's the Toys R, yeah. Toys R Us giraffe. And the bankruptcy and closure of the Toys R Us stores was the end of an era. This one here, too, the, I guess everyone who's grown up was really sad. Yeah, but it's heart wrenching. His journey is not done. He will now be on display at the Children's Hospital in New Jersey. Oh. And it's a little bit updated of a statue there. He looks a little bit younger, I think. <laughs> and very tall. Very, very tall. It says he is 16 feet tall, oh, 550 okay. pounds, but so he gets this new lease on life. Definitely taller than Connor then. I was trying to figure out, is he taller than Connor or not? Because that's hard Just to beat. Barely. But yeah. We really <laughs> have to adjust the cameras for Jeffrey. Yeah, and Connor. <laughs> All right, what else do you have? Next one. Would you like fries with that? Well, you might as well because today is National French Fry Day. Oh, wow. And some other names for French fries are chips, finger chips, French fried potatoes. And I was wondering what they call them in Canada. <laughs> what do they call Still them in Canada? French fries. Oh, I yeah. thought maybe you guys had a cool, fun name for them. No. But also, Americans <laughs> eat more than 16 pounds of French fries every year, which comes to over 2 million tons of French fries. Well, this goes well with Geek Day because you can geek out over some really good French fries. I geek out over waffle fries. The Chick-fil-A um, waffle fries are just the best. There's something <laughs> about it when it's in the shape of a fry. Even Fuddruckers has some good ones. Yeah. Mm. And then speaking of good fries, it's Foodie Friday. And Last Chance Pub and Cider Mill was where we went this last week. They also had excellent French fries when we tried them out. You can get your hands on two $25 gift certificates for the price of one by going to q2deals.com. And then next week, we are going to head over to Local Kitchen and Wine Bar. All right, and you brought one of the desserts with you here this morning. And I did. I give you credit for doing the presentation and the ice cream. You can't do anything to stop melting ice cream, right. but there you have it. Mm. This was still great when it was like half melty the last time I ate it. So oh, really? you got to give it a try. <laughs> All right, we have to dig in. All right, Connor first, okay. because he has to talk some more after this. So Connor, go get ahead. Your get your bite. I was going to say I was a little disappointed. It was so far away from me. <laughs> He was all ready. And I love how this always happens. Uh, Connor happens to uh, fill in for Ed on the days that we actually have a dessert. So, I think that was yeah. kind of our selling point. Yeah, yeah. Connor's like, all right, I'll fill in on the morning show. So Jenny's already tried it. But so what? what is this, uh, the cake part of it? It is a huckleberry cake, mm. sponge cake. And it's really, it's dense, but really light at the same time, if that yeah. makes sense. And then we've got some crumbles on top. And then it's a rhubarb awesome. caramel that is on top of the chamomile ice cream and all of that once again is made in their store. I'm in heaven right now. Yeah, this that blends really together really very, stuff. very nicely. And as Jenny pointed out to me while we're watching the Foodie Friday segment, you can eat the flowers too. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, they're edible violas. Yes, that was, I'm a little wary, but okay, I'm going for it today. Oh, Jenny's oh, gonna yeah, pass last time, now it's. Mm, first she's branding at the Edgar Bar, and now she's eating flowers on the morning show. <laughs> all right, well, uh, good job, Jenny. Thank you so much for <laughs> taking one for the team and course. eating a flower. All right, Connor, take one for the team and uh, give us your forecast. And walk away from this dessert. That's where I'm really <laughs> we'll taking save one it for, you. for the team. Well,